Okay, this is peeing me off. Ah, screw it, doggy. Let's go. We're getting too far away. I didn't get that good, good enough. Take him a while to get die, so. This is the beauty spot, but he's gone. There's no sign of an encounter, but look, Ted was definitely here. Ted and Jeannie, 1978. I can't even imagine what's going through his head at the moment. My dad and I used to talk about men who would seek their solace in nature. He told me that if he didn't have my mom or me around, he'd eventually have just started living out here. <laughs> I didn't believe him at first, but as I've grown older, it makes more sense to me. He's running from the pain he's feeling. Out there, he doesn't need to think about anyone or anything else. He can just be alone. Norman will be here soon. I told him that his visit will include a trip to bear country, so he's got a rifle to protect himself. I'll point him to his dad's old camp for now. It makes most sense for that to be where Ted will come back to whenever he's ready. There's no tracks for you to follow, and while I don't like the idea of him wandering around, Ted clearly wants to be alone out here. might have a lead on our missing yoga instructor. Sammy was driving home after the rappelling lesson, and she heard something that could be Ms. Bodden. She had pulled over to look under the hood of her car, and she swears she heard a scream from the woods nearby. And I asked her if it could have been an animal noise, but she seemed pretty insistent that it was a woman's scream. I know it's nothing solid to go on, but it could be what leads us to her. Can you check it out? I'll mark the spot on your GPS. Ah, okay guys, that's it for tonight.